Congratulations to Lewis Hamilton, who's such a wonderful prospect in British motorsport. Double winner in GP2 this weekend, winning yesterday and winning today. Congratulations on that. How big a breakthrough, how big an achievement for you? It's a fan fantastic achievement for myself this weekend and, and for the team. You know, we've worked very hard in pre-season testing and uh, we've not really had the best first couple of races. And to come here and have a double is fantastic for all of us and for the team spirit. You've got a long-term association with McLaren. Uh, and the suggestion is that's going to continue for a long term uh, as well. Uh, what's the plan as you look towards Formula One? At the moment, my plan is to focus on uh, on racing GP2. You know, I've, I've got a, a long season ahead of me. Just need to make sure I uh, continue with the pace that we've had. But, um, you know, McLaren have been had given me fantastic support over the years and uh, I hope it continues. Hey, Lewis, you're coming through the ranks now. Everything you've done from karting all the way up, you've won in every formula. It very much looks like you're going to win this GP2 season if you continue at the pace. But in your eyes now, you know that you've got an association with McLaren, but where do you really think you can go from here? Is it truthfully into a McLaren car or is it somewhere else down the Formula 1 pit lane? I think anything's possible. As you know, there's uh, possibly a seat available at McLaren, but... Um that would be a dream to go into to the second McLaren seat, but I think uh, and my aim at the moment, again, is to, to win the GP2 title, but then we just have to wait and see. I, I, I don't expect to, to jump straight into a McLaren. Um, I would have thought I would go into one of the lower teams, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. If you want to see an awesome clip of a young Les Brown, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. It's hard changing your life. It was hard when Jeff's over three years ago in the Penobscot building in Detroit, Michigan, where I was operating my business.